Way Public Library in Perrysburg is honoring Black History Month with a painting tour of historic African Americans. Today, a Bowling Green State University's Associate Professor of History, Dr. Nicole Jackson, is here with us with more details, along with the artist himself, nonetheless, Rob Vanevelt. <laughs> Vanevelt will talk about what inspires his work and has a special treat to show us. And Dr. Jackson will provide historical and cultural context to provide a deeper understanding of the figures in the portraits. So good morning, how are you this morning? Doing good well, morning. how are you? Great, so I want to get right into it. Obviously, this is a great event you're hosting at Way Public Library. What was the inspiration behind holding this? Rob. Oh, <laughs> man. Um, well, this is our second year doing it, and um, I guess, uh, wow, the inspiration is pretty clear, <laughs> is that, um, um, uh, Black history is a, a huge pillar uh, uh, um, in our history, and I just wanted to highlight that. And <laughs> I felt as an artist, the way to do that was to um, take a, a person from black history uh, for every day in February and paint them on a large scale. So. And how long have you been painting? Uh, all my life. Wow. Mm -hmm. What sparked their original interest? Um, combating racism, <laughs> I guess. Um, and uh, I figured a good way to uh, dissolve that was a historical context and a face. And you actually did bring a painting here this morning. Let's yes. get a live look at that painting if we can here. Explain this painting to me. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're just kind. <laughs> <laughs> this is the um, second to last one in the series. This is Oprah Winfrey. Um, I wow. chose to do her from uh, earlier in her career in 1978. Uh, I think it was 1978, 1980 is when the, when the Afro was happening. And um, I just wanted to give you guys a, a point of context where she, where she started from and what she had to um, cultivate in order to make that happen, her career. Wow, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And that's only one of some of the many paintings you have, correct? I believe 30. 30 paintings mm -hmm. at this point. Mm -hmm. And what do you think when you see his painting? I think like the Oprah one that he brought today, a lot of what you see are people and moments in their life that you don't expect them. So we're used to seeing John Lewis now um, as an elder statesman, but we, uh, Rob has painted him as a freedom writer when he was you know, in his early 20s. Mm -hmm. And that's a very different way of thinking. It's same with Oprah, we're used to thinking of Oprah now as a powerhouse. But when she is in her early career, she is fighting for everything that she has now. and so. It's not just that the paintings are depicting people um, that are historically significant, it's that it's also forcing us to think about them as history in the making and them in moments um, where we have to challenge our personal perceptions of them in the, um, contemporarily as well. Yeah, these show definitely a awesome. raw side of what we've seen before. You seem impressed by this. There are mm -hmm. also other paintings hanging, so mm -hmm. we can actually go to the library and look at these. What was the inspiration behind hanging paintings all over the library? Oh, um, well, I wanted them to be in a spot that had uh, public access and public outreach and an in institution as well. And uh, these people are like the pillars of our history. Um, and so to have them above the books like lamp holders, um, I just thought that was like really impactful. Do you see? Absolutely. And tell us a little bit more about the event that's happening next week here. So Rob and I will be doing two tours around the library where we will be viewing all of the paintings and also providing a sort of historical context. And the interesting thing is that most of the paintings are from the 20th and 21st century, of the individuals are from the 20th and 21st centuries. Some of the people are still alive as well. And so we're, um, I'll be helping to provide a kind of historical narrative from um, the earliest paintings to the most recent and thinking about his, uh, black history as a continuum. But also I think sort of going back to um, having it in a library, is that black, black, black history is accessible as well, right? So it's not just that these are people who died 200 years ago or necessarily people who left a huge historical archive, but there are people today leaving musical archives or mm. artistic archives or um, being the first in their field, things like that. Yeah, and definitely some big inspiration there within our society and definitely something we do want to highlight and of Absolutely. course acknowledge. Mm -hmm. That's yes. really great. Everyone is welcome to come out. You do want to check out these paintings. They are absolutely beautiful. You just saw a sneak peek, a little taste of those, but don't miss out. That's going to be at the Way Public Library. And well,